My name is Seyed Reza and today I would like to introduce you to this four floor elevator which is controlled with the three phases motor and also HMI device. The first thing I would like to mention is when this uh, elevator is uh, turned on for the first time, no matter where it is, it, the car is going to be moving to the first floor. Right now I reset the PLC. And you see the car is located to on the second floor. It's going to be moving to the first floor. And when it gets there, the seven segment number is going to change from two to one. Now the card is in the first floor and it turns, it opens the door and waits to, to be called for another service. Let's say we push the button located uh, for, the for, uh, for the fourth floor and as soon as it is pushed the LED turns on and off showing that there is a car here so the car door is going to be closed and it's going to be moved up to the fourth floor when it gets there LED display is going to turn off and this display also shows that it's moving upward. When it gets there, number four appears on the display. And again, the door is going to be open. And it's going to wait for the next service. Let's say somebody goes inside the cabin or inside the car and wants to go to second and first floor, two people. So we just simply push number two and one, the LEDs turn on and off, saying that the car has to go to the first and second floor. Shortly, it's going to be located there. And when it gets to the second floor, the LED is going to turn off, saying that it's there. It's going to stop there, open the door, wait for about 10 seconds, and then close the door and go to the first floor. Now it is at the first floor, seven segment display shows number one, and this is the car door being opened, and it's going to wait and continue this sequence. Also need to mention that whenever any external doors at different floors is open, this alarm light is going to be turn on and off saying that there is a, a fault in the system one of the doors is open or something and, and this alarm is going to be kind of saying to outside people that there is something wrong is going on as soon as you open the doors it's going to turn all the activity related to the four floor elevator is going to be displayed on this HMI device. Right now you see that fourth floor door is open. The card is located at the fourth floor and its door is open. And PLC is in a standby mood. Let's say somebody goes inside the card and hits number two, as soon as it is number two is hit, it turns on and off showing that 
the cart is going to be heading to the second floor. The door was closed, and now it's going to go to Dunstay, Dunstream. And when it gets there, it stops it, turns off, opens the door, and also second floor push button which was blinking, it stops now, and the door is open. And if somebody from the first floor calls for service, you can simply hit this number two to the, the push button related to the first floor, and the door is closed, and the cart is moving downwards. And when it gets there, it's going to do the same thing open the door and go to a standby mode. It's, the door is open and card is in a standby mode. Let's say something happens inside the, the card and we want external people, people who are outside, to know about this emergency. We simply hit this button. As soon as that is hit, an uh, alarm li light on the cabin is going to turn on and off, which is actually outside the elevator system. And the people who are passing by is going to be seeing this alarm condition. And we hit it again, it turns off. If it is connected to a horn or something, then the noise of the horn is going to call for attention of people who are outside the elevator. The card is uh, moving up and down by this three-phase a small motor, which is controlled by this AC inverter, Delta AC inverter. And by this equipment, we can control the amount of the revolution this motor is going to make. And also, we can uh, make it working, running on clockwise or counterclockwise. This inverter is going to be controlled by the PLC. And all these, of course, are going to be done with the control software, which is run inside the PLC. When we want to move the car, let's say, from the first floor to fourth floor, we simply, when we hit number four on the HMI, the car starts, the car door is going to be closed, and it's going to be automatically, the three-phase motor turns on, and then the car is going to move up. In. And it gets to the fourth floor, of course, it's going to be turned off automatically. The process is going to be the same when we hit, let's say, uh, floor number one, keypad, then the motor is going to be running in the counterclockwise to move the cart to the first floor. Let's do it. <laughs> 